full match to the National Assembly to submit a petition over the activities of the Senate Committee Chairman of NDP. Now we are asking the Senate Committee and the Red Chamber to solidarity forever. We shall always fight for our Soli, 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 On the need for the dissolution of the Senate Committee on Niger Delta and for the probe of the chairman of the committee, Senator Peter Woboshi. I will now read our petition and which the representative of the Senate President will receive from us. The Guardians of Democracy and Development, Empowerment for Unemployed Youth Initiative, and the several other civil society groups that have gathered here, both from the Niger Delta region and even from across the other parts of our dear nation, Nigeria, are deeply disenchanted at the fact that the core mandate of the Niger Delta Development Commission, as enshrined in her act, has been consistently abused, owing to the diversion and looting of funds meant for developmental projects in the Niger Delta region. This has had an adverse effect on the people of the Niger Delta region and by extension on the entirety of Nigeria as a nation as we do not exist as people in isolation. It is a known fact that trillions of Naira have been injected into the Niger Delta Development Commission since its inception in the year 2000 with no commensurate development output to match these huge allocations. The NDDC was thus converted to a cash cow for certain individuals and cabals. We are more pained that in the recent years, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Niger Delta, 
Senator Peter Woboshi held the Niger Delta Development Commission by the juggler and has bled and continued to bleed the agency of huge sums of monies directly and through various means, including receiving contracts in their numbers. We have it on authority that Senator Peter Woboshi um, twisted the Niger Delta Development Commission and he also ensured that they were bamboozled or railroaded into executing emergency projects only as the commission had no budget for the respective years of 2017, 2018, and 2019. Until the interim management committee came in and prepared a budget for 2020. We also have it on incontrovertible records that Senator Peter Woboshi received 1,000 contracts from the Niger Delta Development Commission and claimed that these contracts were distributed among senators. Is that what should be the norm? No. Are contracts meant to be executed by senators? No. Contracts are meant to be executed by competent contractors who will do their jobs in line with due process as prescribed by the relevant laws, including the BPP Act. It is also on record that Senator Peter Woboshi collected the monthly sum of 1 billion naira from the LNG funds until the current interim management committee stopped these illegal payments. From these easily provable facts, it is clear that Senator Peter Woboshi has soiled his hands in the mayor of personal financial interests so long as NDDC is concerned. He will therefore do anything to frustrate any thorough investigation of the rot in the Niger Data Development Commission in the same manner that he is frantically trying to frustrate the forensic audit of the NDDC being supervised by the Interim Management Committee. We want to also use this medium to appreciate the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for initiating this probe into the affairs and finances of the Niger Delta Development Commission. You will all agree with me that this is the singular biggest blow dealt by this administration and even successive administration to the monstrous, hydra-headed behemoth of corruption. And we believe that if the Interim Management Committee is allowed to proceed with her duties unfettered and unhindered, the Niger Delta Development Committee Commission will be better for it. Nigerians will be better for it. The Niger Delta Development, uh, the Niger Delta region will be better developed. It is not proper that what is meant for the common good of the Niger Delta people is being stolen misappropriated and looted by a handful few individuals. On the heels of these sorry and painful developments, we herein make the following prayers before the Nigerian Senate. One, that the Senate should dissolve the Senate Committee on Niger Delta as is presently constituted. Two, that the Senate should invalidate the screening exercise conducted by the Peter Woboshi led committee for the NDDC board for the obvious reasons that that screening exercise was biased and tilted in a manner to favor some individuals and to also cover up the rot that has festered for decades in the Niger Delta Development Commission. Number three, that a probe into the activities of Senator Peter Woboshi be initiated alongside a public hearing where stakeholders like civil society groups concern Niger Deltans and the aggrieved and disenchanted and pained people of Niger Delta and all other Nigerians will be invited to bear their minds on the atrocious act perpetrated 
against the Niger Delta Development Commission, against the people of the Niger Delta region, and also the mischief orchestrated by Senator Peter Woboshi. While looking forward to the timely favorable response of the Nigerian Senate in order to rescue the Niger Delta Development Commission and also to rescue Niger Delta and indeed all Nigerians, we hear in extend assurances of our wavering, un unwavering support for the adroit leadership of the Nigerian Senate and our commitment to ensure that corruption is stamped out of our land out of Nigeria. Yes, yes. We shall maintain eternal vigilance. Mm. We shall not give an ounce of space to corruption or to corrupt elements. We are ready with all the blood in our bloodstream, with all the strength we can muster in the day and in the night, under the sun like we have gathered here and even under the rain. We have come to say a big no to corruption. We have come to say a big no to the illegality which the Committee on Niger Delta has led by Senator Peter Woboshi wants to foist on the people of Niger Delta region and Nigerians. Together, we have come to say a big no to corruption. We have come to say what? A big no to corruption. Questions? If you know go go there, if you know no be this is shifting. Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the best of our knowledge, the Senate is enough. It's enough. Senator Peter Uwabosu. We, the good people of Nigeria, we are in pain. Dodo, the floor is yours. Please address the word and say, and a drift protest.